John 21, 7. Lege un ha mathetes ekenas han egapa ha Jesus to Petro ha curias esten. Simon un Petras accusas ha ti ha curias esten tan ependutein diezosata ein gargumnas kai ebalen he autan estein thalasan. So, Jesus has instructed the disciples to uh, fish, throw the net on one side of the boat. There's this miraculous catch, and then then they, the disciples have not recognized Jesus yet on the shore. So, um, that disciple, there's the word that, the far demonstrative pronoun, that disciple whom Jesus loved, and so that's the big subject right there. And, and there's our post-positive so. So that disciple whom Jesus loved said, there's the narrative or historical present, said to Peter, it is the Lord. Right? It is the Lord. They re he recognized this figure on the shore. So Simon Peter, when he heard, probably a, we'll add in the word when there, understanding this adverbial participle is temporal, but with a bit of a causal sense too, right? Because he heard this, but when he heard that it is the Lord, he tied on or tucked in um, his outer garment. His is implied here. It's not present, but this is the word epindutes. It only occurs one time in the Greek New Testament. A hopox in the Greek New Testament it means outer garment. And then this word diazosata, diazosata, pardon me, diazosata is um, from diazonumi, meaning to tie around or to tuck in. And I think I really like the suggestion of the Net Bible here. They're following um, the work of Raymond Brown, saying that probably what's going on here, this is explanatory, for he was naked. In other words, Peter didn't have any clothes on uh, under his outer garment, so he sort of tied it around or tucked it in before he jumped in the water. That seems to make sense of the context here. The diazosata is an aorist middle indicative third person singular. He's, he's tying in or tucking around this outer garment because he doesn't have the option of taking it off, as you might expect for swimming, because he doesn't have anything on underneath. And then we continue reading, and he threw, that's the second aorist of Balo, he threw himself, reflexive pronoun, into the sea or into the lake.